what's up y'all flip here euc chronicles back with another goodie how's everybody doing i recently purchased the clark system for my v13 pro i had it for a while got to use it got to sit on it and i just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on it i uh the reason why this all came about i was originally buying the clark pads the kong pads for my exn had them in my cart for about a month now uh maybe a little bit over a month and the only reason i didn't pull the trigger on them because i was waiting for the weather to break before you know i ended up getting them and slapping them on the exn and after i got the v13 i was like hmm i I was going back to there to get to change the color of them to match the v13 and i was like while i'm here i was like let me just see if they have a clark system for the v13 because i've never seen one on any wheel ever in any video anywhere so to my surprise they absolutely did and when i saw it i was like so and then they had the video right under it of the guy like installing it and when i saw how good it looked on the wheel i could not there's no way i was like you're gonna drop 200 plus on clark pads you might as well just go and get the clark system now the clark system was a little expensive uh it was 250 for the system i think with shipping and taxes and everything it came to like 280 all together i wish it was a little bit cheaper uh for what you're getting like granted you're getting good protection you're getting a comfortable seat all that you know and, and 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 i don't have buyer's remorse in the least bit i just think in my opinion for what you're actually getting it should be more around a 225 dollar price point you know just in my opinion you know maybe maybe 225 with everything included that's like the only i wouldn't even say gripe but that's the only thing i i would say is that it is pricey um for what you're getting you know but um i'm still extremely happy with my purchase the seat on it is incredible now obviously i got a seat with my v13 but this seat is much much more comfortable it's a wider seat so you're your butt has more room to sit on so you don't get as tired easily i went on a long ride a few days ago and, and i got to sit on that seat for a good long time and, and i felt good my butt was good it wasn't sore so the seat the seat really does its job now it came with a bunch of velcro and double-sided tape which i did not use stupidly um i just kind of used the screws and screwed it all together um it's on there securely it's snug it, i haven't felt it shift or anything i do have some velcro on the bottom of the seat keeping it velcro to the the top of the v13 but aside from that everything is holding well i do want to unscrew it and actually use the double side tape and some of the velcro just to keep it a little bit more secure on the wheel god forbid if a crash happens it's not just going to fly off in your face but um the one good thing is god forbid if you ever did strip the screws or something like that you can easily just fill those holes with like you know some rubber cement glue or something like that and and screw them right back in so um you know i i'm not really worried about doing any damage to it but all in all it's a good system i'm very impressed with i'm very happy with my purchase um if you're in the market for the clark system i can definitely suggest that it, it, it's a good buy like i said a little on the pricey side but for the euc stuff what what is it for us you know what i mean like i haven't seen one thing that's reasonably priced um i also looking into getting me a roger charger for and i wish i thought about the roger charger before i bought an extra uh charger for the v13 but after learning what the roger charger does i am definitely interested in getting one so that's going to be my next purchase in the near future but um aside from that like i said clark pad system is a go and i'm very happy with it and uh that's enough of that let's get into this riding video all righty so i learned some really disturbing information about my insta360 camera versus the speed of my wheel you as you know as you can see on the screen the insta360 allows you to use your gps data to basically give you a speed uh distance all the, all that update on on your camera so you, you can show it and display it but while i was doing that the other day i decided to take the insta360 and put it right above the v13 screen and i noticed that there is actually a four and a half mile difference between the insta360 speed versus the v13 speed 
and I got extremely angry about that. Not like extremely angry, let me not be dramatic, but I was I was not happy because this whole time I'm riding and I and I always, you know, go through all the headaches of making sure the GPS works on your Insta360 camera, which entails you have to leave your phone on and open. You can't lock your phone in order for the GPS to work. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but for the most part, that is what's required. And I've been doing that this whole time just to realize that the speed that it says I'm going, I'm not going, I'm going faster than that. And I know it's not really a big deal, but when you're sitting there looking like, hey, you know, like I know I, I or you felt, especially on the EXN, cause there's times I've been riding and I'm like, damn, you know, I, 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 I felt like I was going faster than what it says on the Insta360. And the whole time I actually was about four and a half miles faster. So now I'm kind of like, do I even want to go by the Insta360? Cause that, you know, that was just there for, you know, for the audience. So they can kind of, you know, you can obviously they can see how fast you're going, but sometimes depending on the camera angle, how far you have the camera away from you sometimes it may seem like you're going faster than you are slower than you are so that was just there as a reference and but that reference is wrong that reference is a lie it's 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 not real so now i don't know what to do i don't know now if i just want to screen record the in motion app and and just show my speed that way you know or i don't know i i, I don't even i never even tried to see if euc world even works with the v13 um maybe i can probably try that and see what happens but i i'm not gonna lie i was a bit bummed about that man I, you know because like you, you, you're pushing you're pushing you're pushing and then you you look at the video on the playback and it's like ah oh, man you only did 34 miles or, or 36 miles or 38 miles when you're clearly doing 43 <laughs> and, a, and above you know so um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do now because you know going through all that process to get the gps now there is a gps box you can buy for the insta360 that you can attach to the i guess the the pole i don't know um i don't know if the speed is going to be any more accurate than the speed on your phone it's like 79 dollars purchase um i at this point i really can care less because i don't want to buy this thing and then still have the gps be wrong and i know i talked to some, my my boy samako out there in long beach and he was saying how some guys swear by the gps speed and all that but you can clearly see there's a delay with the gps speed it is not as accurate it doesn't register as fast like it did i don't know what this gps thing is that people swear by maybe from a different app or something like that but the, not the, the insta360 app the way that it gathers data to give you that gps speed is incorrect it's wrong and i i honestly don't know how to really fix that i mean is it a big deal no but it's just something that really like come on dog if i want to go on a top speed run now what, what i'm gonna do put it in the video oh add four miles to what you're seeing because you, it, it, it's just annoying like like they should get that right they should fix that boy like i said worst case scenario i'll just screen record you know the actual in motion app and then put that you know superimpose that on the screen or something like that but hey sorry to go <laughs> sorry to rant like that but it, like i said it really kind of like i'm like wait what are you kidding me but like i said i did get a chance to go out do some seated riding with this with this wheel especially with the the clark system and what a comfortable ride this is i'm telling you now here's some funny stuff so the other night i decided to go to the store and grab a bite to eat obviously didn't want to drive because it's much faster to ride my euc but because i'm going to the corner store or whatever the case may be i'm not going to take the v13 right so i grabbed the exn this is the first time I've grabbed the EXN since purchasing the V13. Bro, when I got on that wheel, it was the most awkward, uncomfortable ride. I, and mind you, I love the EXN. I loved riding the EXN. It was just that me and that wheel had a bond. Love riding that wheel. But after riding the V13 for the little bit of amount of time that I've been riding it, oh my God, to get on the EXN was just uh, uh, like it, i'm glad the store was closed let's just put it that way it was not an enjoyable ride for me in the least bit was not an enjoyable ride even when i was accelerating around the turn i was like i felt wobbly and and and, and it was just the weirdest thing and so as much as i was i wasn't even complaining but as much as an adjustment as it was to go to a heavier wheel now i fear that i can't go back 
I can't go back. How am I gonna go? Like, if if the wheel that I've been riding for this past um, what almost year, I don't even remember how long I had the EXN, and enjoying, loving the ride of it. And this isn't a suspension thing at all. It's just about how light the EXN is in comparison to the V13. I never realized how stable the V13 is until I went back to the EXN and how comfortable it is to ride that machine. Yeah, there are some hurdles you have to get over, you know, mounting, dismounting, things like that. You come into a stoplight, you know, you have to make sure you're not leaning too much one way or other because it will, it will, you know, it'll, it'll tip over on you. It's, it'll, 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 it's going down. It's yelling timber on you really fast but what you're getting with that weight i i, I i'm really, really i'm surprised man i was shocked exn is my y'all know i love that wheel man and to get on it and that thing felt like a toy to me a toy like something i wouldn't feel safe riding at the speeds i ride with the v13 it was crazy i could not believe it so i think i i think i'm here to stay man i think i, I at this point you know <laughs> where, where is there to go from here you know except the master pro um if if i couldn't even say it because that's not true if i wanted to go off road i have the msx with the hardcore knobby on it um i don't i you know all that you know hardcore trail riding is just not in my repertoire it's just not something i'm really into like i like riding off road to some degree like when seth came and we took the trails and, and that was fun but it's just not something that when i get out and ride on my wheel I'm like yeah that's that's where my mind is i'm a street rider i like riding in the street i like to be able to go fast for long periods of time without stopping that's my that's my thing you know so i can't even say about you know looking at a, a another wheel a lighter wheel to do tricks on and things like that because i'm not really doing tricks i stopped jumping a long time ago just for my own safety really um i, I there was just like i enjoyed goofing off you know doing jumps and stuff like that but it's again that's just not my main thing when i think about riding or getting on an ec my thing is getting on a road completely free nobody on it so i can just go it and go for a long ride you know that's my that's where my head is at not really doing tricks not jumping or anything like that but you know if i were to do some jumps or, or do some off-roading i mean unfortunately the v11 doesn't have a uh, off-road tire on it but if it did that would probably be my weapon of choice would be the the, the, the v11 for sure you know to, especially doing jumps and coming off the v13 how heavy is that v11 probably feel like a like a little <laughs> like a little 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 paperweight little little five ten pounds under your feet in comparison but man i i was shocked i was completely blown away and i didn't realize how much i've already adapted to as much as i'm still having i wouldn't even say difficulty but there's still a challenge with a few things i was out with uh one of my guys last week riding and i dropped the wheel like just coming to a stop you know some real amateur that's the hard part man it's like i've done some amateur shit on this wheel and it's so embarrassing because <laughs> it's like yo dog how long you been riding big dog like you good so embarrassing but uh when i dropped the wheel nothing happened i didn't, didn't nothing it was just it was just it was coming to a stop and i got off the wheel dismounted the wheel and i just didn't grab it in time but when it's before it started leaning and eh, you know that's it the game over but i i i'm enjoying this process i'm not gonna lie to you i'm really enjoying this process it, it's 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 kind of grind recentering me so to speak where you kind of get a little comfortable riding whatever you're riding and you're thinking that you've learned it all and 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 now this new behemoth comes into your life and man <laughs> you're back to the basics again but um you know i i that that that's it man i i don't i don't i don't want to drag this video out i'm having a blast with this wheel obviously i'm having a blast with the learning process i'm having a blast learning that you know now that i'm used to this going back to my other wheels is just not something i want to do at all like yeah now i'm obviously going to keep the exn around that's gonna be my backup wheel god forbid something happens to the v13 uh and i'm definitely going to keep the v11 because again i love that wheel as well um great wheel it's gonna be my son's wheel i'm gonna get him off the z10 so i can just throw the z10 in the garbage um figure of speech obviously i'm not gonna throw it in the garbage but you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna do something i'm probably gonna get rid of it sell it really cheap to somebody i'm just trying to find people that you know that maybe want to ride or or want to learn how to ride and i have these wheels sitting around the house that i can you know sell to them extremely cheap like like super duper cheap but um all in all man uh this has been a great great purchase for me like i i the more and more i think about it the more and more i'm happy that i actually pulled the trigger 
and just did something impulsive like this and, and, and buying the wheel. But um, more videos to come. I have more. I have tons of riding videos that I have to edit. So I'll be uploading soon. I just want to get this out because I realized the last video was like eight days ago. So I want to get something out. Thanks for rocking with me. You guys are the best. Leave any questions, comments down below. Uh, if you have any questions about the Clark system or the V13 itself or a range test will be coming soon. I'm just having too much fun riding right now to even do something. It's coming soon. See y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.